Hello, hello, hello! I'm Ada Shan and welcome back to Death and Taxes. We're gonna jump right in, see what we can do, see what chaos we can cause, what death we've got going. Bonehead. Let's have a look through these. I still like that one. Yeah, we'll stick to that one. Stone Cold Classic. Refrigeration of Vampire. What was that one? Wild. Hello, Jim. It just looks like a fluffy moron. Um. not even off yet. So who is in that one? Is that Otter's face? I don't know. Anyway. Eh, wobble wobble. The grim office. I like the lamp. Okay. Boo. Okay. Managing director of the Daily Moon drowns after being caught stalking and harassing offspring of local crime boss. Anti-base shorts, animus still simmering in the background of the air, even after death of front leader. Experimental farmer arrested for poisoning Hecator... Hecator... Hector, I can't even. A farmland with homemade fertiliser. Land unusable for years to come. Chernobyl. Amateur keyboardist lays down a passably acceptable keyboard solo at latest concert. Microscale steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension, and possibly destroy the world. Okay. Quote, any humans who seem suspicious. Any humans. So I could potentially kill them. Or what the hell? The assignment, an eldritch waft of air passed through my office earlier certainly a sign of disorder we could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today so i'll leave it so i leave it up to you any humans who seem suspicious you will figure it out yes what's that i turn that off it's irritating Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their belief that microscale steam mechanics are totally doable. What was that? Brand new dimension. Possibly destroy the world. Steam. Tumor of the microscale steam mechanics seem to be available. Nope, sorry. I'll just turn you on. Oh, I can move them. Flower, money, off. Oh, I don't know what I mean. Go over there. Data analyst. Despite liberal arts education, Sky works in the space industry, writing programs to analyse satellite data. They live with their spouse and cats. Any spare time they have enjoyed sitting in a hot tub. I mean, who doesn't? Eh, okay, you can leave. That's fine. Non commissioned officer. As if born to lead in tense situations, Paul enjoys being the backbone of the armed services. After completing several important missions during the Waskagrad conflict, they've now moved on to training new recruits. This emphasise having a calm head and thinking things through. You can live. They're giving me free reign! Woo. Never wanted to have children, they have outlived all their friends, relatives and cats sitting in their tiny rental apartment. Barry spends most of their time living inside their memories, not bothering to make any new ones. Eh, live. Keep going, Doc. Doc, by the way, it's a local thing. Student coordinator. Maria works at the Central Cosmopolis University, where they offer administrative help and guidance to undergraduates. Sometimes they help organise academic events. Life keeps them busy, but they still try to find it. Snowboarding, wow. Okay. So all of them have been marked. I don't know what this thing's supposed to do. 
Oh, shit. Whatever. Confused. Still up. Oh, where is he? Oh, not that cat again. As you enter, you notice that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Paul Dinkin snoozing on the table. Oh no, this again? The old-fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear-piercing metallic clatter. A familiar voice calls from the static. Aha, Grim. Jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. Okay. It is a weekend, after all. And the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? But what of the conduct you. overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. <laughs> now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. Okay. Wow. Fair enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, he's down here. Waddle. Waddle waddle. Come on. You know you want to. Yeah, thank you. You're such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. Rude. There are sleek stylish modern glasses that grow. A pleasant face to wear and make me look wicked smart. Way smarter than the boss, you know. Ah, stop now. Want that. Nah, screw that. Right, we're getting up. Go to bed. <clears throat> Is he back here? Oh, we'll never see that there. Okay. Wee, waddle, waddle. Oh, shoot. Oh, I've got to answer this pissing cat again. Pigging cat. Mm. Oh, look, the phone's still up. Nah. Officer to revise and update the military instruction guide to fit modern standards. Odd scientist... Oh, excuse me. Blows up along with their work shed while experimenting with microscale steam mechanics. Error spotted in a satellite which would have caused it to crash. It's now slated to reach orbit successfully this week. Will superstar racer Miguel Salt bring home another trophy for the cosmopolis cosmopolis city? So, Miguel Salk. I take it you're in my list. <sighs> He's always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper, but for some reason, perhaps due to a fear of sharp objects, never pursued true passion. Oh shit, I should read this first. Your attention is required. I've been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you'll handle it as usual. Five humans die. One human must be spared if this is of utmost importance. Be careful to let the right person live. Okay, you're a judge. We hit to the judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the bringing of justice, but because of the political power the position brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little bit too much. Okay, bye bye. What about this thing? That doesn't help. On, on, off, on, off. Sorry. <clears throat> Gordy says they're a physicist because they used to work in a physics lab. In truth, they spent all their time at the warehouse offering crates with a crowbar, cra opening crates with a crowbar. They were fired after breaking whatever of the rare HL 3.0 compound the lab had been expecting for nearly two decades. Okay, bye bye. Five to die, so that's two. Systems analyst. Gossi is on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low-cost drones. It would use cutting-edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They got the idea while lifting the stressed food delivery person on a bike in the rain. Come back to you. Now I've read that one. Student, what are morals? Rudolph's quite the type of university freshman who's just finished reading a couple of introductory philosophy books and now can't talk about how they understand society, morals, and how the world works. You're a moron. Unemployed. Hang on. Oh no, nobody's lived yet. Freddie has been homeless for a long time, ever since they escaped their abusive home. 
They have always felt like keeping on the move, never settling down until they found poetry. Now they go to all local culture and charity events. So these two are dead. Five have got to die. Um, let's have a look back here. So they're interested in that. Micro, what? Oh, he died, didn't he? Oh, so military instruction. Uh, an occupation they hate. Hmm. Uh, culture and charity events. Uh, I don't know. How many dead? Three. So I've got two more to kill. Low class drones as a system analysis. Anal <laughs> analysis. Analyst. Uh, some have caused it to crash. Drones. Uh oh. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's got to. Oh shit, I've got to kill somebody. So it's you or you? We'll keep. Oh shit. Okay, it's you. Sorry. Sorry, dude. No, we can't bring that thing because I've just killed him. Please, not the cat again. Hello, Satan. Oh, look, I've got a bubble. When did you last smell the fresh scent of blossoming lilacs? Heard the soft cooing of a puppy bird with a bright blue? Felt the soft hum of the earth yearning for attention? What are you talking about? of everything. Oh, proud reaper. <coughs> Sometimes you cut too deep. Okay. He would just make my head hurt. Oh no, the cat. He's... As you look around the office, you see Lady Paulington lounging supine on the table. The old-fashioned phone again rings right as you settle in. The familiar, if grainy voice can be heard. Grim. Ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Such... almost makes it all seem worthwhile. Yes, you expect your daily summary, but I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. So, off you go. Hmm. No, it's a little jump for me. The balloons will get you anything, mate. The balloons. Eh, uh, strip of the clothing. A widget. That's not an under. Eh, stop it. We're going off. Wobble. Wobble, wobble. Uh, I know, I don't know why that's so entertaining. End the day. Back to work. Oh, we haven't got long left now. Fear warranted. Superstar racer dies from hundreds of bee stings. Oh dear, that's not good for him, is it? Government attempts to pass law that punishes bees for being murderers. Seriously? Oh, instructions today. Oh, sorry. Thousands of already low-paid driver workers lose jobs to carry a drone ship. I know you know it all dies from their brain becoming too far, uh, far too smart and big for their skull. Ex-physicist and loiterer dead after falling into a vat of radioactive goo. Should we really have a lake of hazardous, hazardous material just outside the city? Black holes set to end all life. Charity auction to take place in rural Cosmopolis. Bring your friends. Nothing. Where's my Wizzy Wiz? 
Maybe I, oh, I didn't buy it, did I? Duh, stickers. Today is simple, Grim. It's as if a great calmness has enveloped the world. I do not see the need for many deaths for today. Two humans. So, half. Okay. He's a monk. Spends all their days in the monastery writing manuscripts by hand, although the printing press was invented centuries ago. They insist that the text be written by hand or the most source. They don't seem to be harming anybody. Long distance chopping can be really boring, or frustrating, or medita med meditative. Whatever. It gives plenty of time to contemplate issues or listen to her audiobooks and podcasts. At least that's what Shizuka uses the time for. Their aspiration is to one day not drive trucks across the land. It's been said that Matthias talks too much. However, they themselves think they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. You need to live, even though you're an ass. Grandparent with an estranged grandchild named Guy, with whom they seek to reconcile. After a time, they move to a calm country home, where they spend most of their time knitting. They own a marvellous collection of porcelain. There we go. So these two die. You're not going to drive trucks anymore. And you're a monk. I don't know how that says anything, but, you know. Off we go. Can I actually... Yeah, okay. Oh, he's back! Grim? Hello. Welcome back. How about we skip the pleasantries and get back to your usual pointless drudgery? Charming. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. <coughs> At least someone seems to be up to their tasks. Oh, did something happen? Uh, whatever. You? No, Grim. You have not. Why am I... Livid? That's a good question. Because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to... Remind me... That taking sudden leave is detrimental to... Our aspiration. Oh dear. Air quotes. Because they thought to admonish me. You got told for off. For taking a couple of days to perform important research. But it wasn't directly linked to your job. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes, now, how was it? Nothing in life is more certain than... Oh, oh, death and taxes. <laughs> Turtle drop. Either way, the nerve they have to lecture me on how to do my job. And let you do me every day. It is rather irritating, is it not? Got some insight there, bro? Uh, no matter, Grim. I apologize for taking it out on you. Good night. But you didn't... Okay. I'll take it. Bye. Asshole. I mean, nice guy. Wobble. Nah, thank you. Yo ho ho! What can old Mortimer provide you? Ah, uh, nothing. Tonight? Nothing. I aren't there yet. I want that thing. I'm gonna bed. Bed. Bed, bed. Okie dokie, guys. We haven't got that long left. Um. About six days, I assume. <coughs> So, I think in the next one, we'll finish it off. So, yeah, or not, I might make it another part, I don't know, it depends how it's going. But yes, we currently have an angry fate, Um, yeah, we've got the wobbly guy, he's happy enough. Satan's floating around, yeah. As always, link down in the description to the game, it's 12 99 on Ishio. And it is totally worth it. I'm very much enjoying it. 